good morning guys and welcome back to the channel in previous video we have discussed about what the aishe about okay and now here we are going to discuss about the key report of aishe okay that how it works all right guys okay. also we are going to discuss about the key result of aishe okay it that what was the result given by aishe in which uh, uh, the survey which was it was conducted in year 2018-19 by the by AISHE okay so let's let's have a look at it so as per the report given by AISHE in 2018-19 the first important thing first point here is there are 993 universities as I told you in the previous videos also okay and 39,931 colleges in India and 10725 means 10,725 stand alone institution means kind of independent organization okay listed on AISHE web portal and out of them 962 universities are universities 330,179 colleges and 99,190 stand alone institutions have responded during the survey okay now as I told you stand alone university institutions are kind of independent institutions those who don't take much aid from the government side okay so uh, now 290, uh, 298 universities are affiliating that is having colleges. Okay. Now point number two, 385 universities are privately managed. Okay. How many universities are privately managed? That is 385. 394 universities are located in our rural areas, 394. 16 universities are exclusively for women. Okay. So, uh, how many universities are there for women? Exclusively for women, means especially for women. Okay, there are 16 universities. Out of this, your three universities are in Rajasthan, two are in Tamil Nadu, and one each in Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, Delhi, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Odisha, Uttarakhand, and West Bengal. All right. Uh, in addition to one central, uh, uh, one central open university. Now, guys, see this. This may be the important point for you. Now, guys, see this point is quite important for you people. Okay, this you all need to see very, very carefully. Okay, uh, in addition to one central open university. Okay, so we have one central open university. We have the fourteen state open university, one state private open university, and there are one hundred and ten dual mode university. Okay, now what kind of universities are this your dual mode universities 110 which are dual mode means those who offer both distance as well as regular courses. Okay guys, now which offer through the uh, education distance mode. Okay, and all, also the maximum 13 of them are located in Tamil Nadu. Okay, so they may ask you that where the maximum number of dual mode universities are located. So they are located in Tamil Nadu that you guys should know. Okay, next point is there are 548 general, 142 technical, 63 agriculture and Iliad, 58 medical and 23 law, 13 Sanskrit and 9 language universities and rest 106 universities are of other categories. Alright guys, the next thing is about the top states in the terms of uh, highest number of colleges in India. So under this category, we have Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Rajasthan, Haryana, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, and Madhya Pradesh. These are the top eight states of India which have the highest number of colleges in India. All right? Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, next point says, okay, guys, further if you will talk so we can see that Bangalore, okay, it's an urban district, tops in the terms of the number of colleges that are, it has. 880 colleges okay and that is followed by our Jaipur with 566 colleges all right and top 50 districts have about 32.2 percent of colleges if you will see of India okay next we have the college density we are talking about the college density and what is this that is the your number of colleges per lakh eligible population okay so if you will see the density in the colleges so we can see it's a uh, seven in Bihar, okay, and fifty-three in Karnataka, okay. As compared to the one, if you'll see overall of India, so that is twenty-eight, all right. So least one is Bihar, highest is in Karnataka, okay, and average of India is twenty-eight, okay. 
The next is about your 60.53 colleges are located in rural area. Okay. They may ask you how many colleges are located in residential. You should know 60.53 and 1.04 colleges are exclusively for female. It is on the basis of your percentage. Okay. Next is our only 2.5% colleges run PhD programs. Okay. 2.5% colleges are only running PhD program and 34.9 colleges run postgraduate level programs. Okay. Now further is this point actually this seems quite important to me guys okay so you please see that only how many colleges run okay there's 25 percent colleges run phd program 34.9 percent colleges run the postgraduate level programs okay now there are 34.8 percent colleges which run only single program okay out of which 83.1 college uh, percent of are privately managed among these privately managed colleges 38.1 percent colleges run b8 course only Right, 77.8 percent colleges are privately managed, 64.3 are private unaided. Okay, unaided means those who don't take any help from the government side. Okay, uh, it's opposite of aid, aid means help. And 13.5 percent private aided Andhra Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh have about 88 percent private unaided colleges, and Tamil Nadu has 87 point 87 percent private unaided colleges, whereas Assam has 16 percent of private colleges. All right, 16.3 of the colleges have, are having enrollment less than 100 and only 4% colleges have enrollment more than 3,000. Okay guys, now what I have, you know, it's, I have both, uh, this part and this part, these two points, you see, this is the polled one. This seems like quite important, you guys show carefully that. The total enrollment in the higher education has been estimated around 37.4 million. Okay, with 19.2, okay, how many male are there? 19.2 million male and 18.2 million female population in it, okay. Female consists around 48.6 of the total, you know, total enrollment, okay. That is 48.6. So, this is very, very important how many are involved in this. So, total is 37.4 and if you divide it into male, female, so 19.2 is male and 18.2 is your female is it clear? Okay. The next is about uh, gross enrollment ratio. I, I told you about this in previous video also, GER. Okay. This gross enrollment ratio is higher in higher education in days, 26.3%, okay, which is calculated for 18 to 23 years of age group. Okay. This gross enrollment ratio, GER for male population is 26.3 and for female, okay, male is 26.3%, female it is 26.4%. Okay, for scheduled caste it is 23% uh, and for scheduled tribe it is 17.2 which is very low as compared to the national GER of 26.3%. Okay guys, okay the next point is about your uh, distance enrollment. Okay, this point is also important because as we are going for the Igno, so distance enrollment consists, constitutes about 10.62% okay, of the total enrollment in higher education. Okay which is 44.15% are female student in that, okay. Uh, next is about 79.8% uh, uh, of students are enrolled in undergraduate level program and 1,69,170 students are enrolled in PhD. That is less than 0.5% of the total enrollment. Uh, Okay, the next point says the maximum number of students are enrolled in BA program are followed by uh, maximum number of students. See, the maximum students what they read is the BA program, okay, and followed by then it comes BSc and the least one is BCom programs, okay. The 10 programs are out of approximately 187 covers 80.9% of the total students enrolled in higher education, okay. Any at undergraduate level, the highest number is is 35.9% of students are enrolled in arts. Okay, this is for arts, uh, or which you call it humanities also. This is the another name for it, okay? Humanities, social science, social science. Courses followed by it, uh, science. In science, we get around 16.5%. Okay, engineering and technology is 13.5% in engineering and technology or 
and commerce have 14.1 percent so least you can see the least one is in your engineering and technology where the students take admission highest is in art 35.9 percent okay guys mm, the next we have okay our next is about at phd level maximum number of students are enrolled in science stream okay this is interesting thing from in science stream at phd level followed by engineering and technology on the other hand at post graduate level maximum students are enrolled in social science stream and management comes at number 2 now uttar pradesh comes at next point is uttar pradesh comes at number 1 with the highest students enrollment followed by maharashtra and tamil nadu okay so you should remember this is very important thing here uttar pradesh okay is at the first position when it comes to the enrollment of the student okay guys i tell you again this is at the number one position here in uttar pradesh okay and this is followed by maharashtra and tamil nadu our next point is about the scheduled caste students okay which uh, if you will see this is 14.9% is for your sc student and 5.5% is your st students those who get enrollment 36.3% is from your obc students okay and 5.2% okay this is from your uh, other backward class uh, sorry a student belongs to the muslim minority this is from muslim minorities okay and your 2.3% this one if you will see this is your 2.3% this is from other minority communities this students are from okay the total number of foreign students enrolled in higher education is 47427 this is your 400 foreign students okay because the uh, students in india come from the abroad also yeah. the next point is about your students okay the foreign students come from 164 different countries from across the globe the top 10 countries constituted 63.7% of the total foreign students enrollment enrollment okay uh, and next point is about your highest share of foreign students come from the neighboring countries of which the nepal is 26.88% of the total okay this is what we are getting the maximum number of st uh, students from there okay and this is followed by afghanistan 9.8% bangladesh 4.38 sudan 4.02 Bhutan constitutes about 3.82 percent, okay, and Nigeria about 3.4 percent students. Okay, these are the major countries from where the students come to India to study. Okay, let's see what the next point is saying us that there are more than 78.0 percent colleges running in private sectors, 78.0 percent, aided and unaided taken together. Okay. and but the caters only 66.4% of the total enrollment okay the next point is okay this is about your total i can say the total number of teachers okay uh, teachers are 14 lakh 16299 as i told you before also this is the number of teachers as per the last survey out of which 57.8 are male teachers and 42.2% are female teachers okay and all india level there are merely 73 female teachers per 100 male teachers all right guys so this is the report given by aishe in their last final report of 2018 and 19 i have cleared all the data for you guys okay Uh, in case if i come across few more data like this i will definitely get back to you and update you guys with the help of this channel okay meanwhile stay tuned all right guys hope to see you soon in the next video till then bye bye